Arthur Sinodinos, you mentioned uh, Turnbull turncoats. Arthur Sinodinos was, of course, a key <laughs> part of the Turnbull coup. What a disgrace that Turnbull coup was. And we could talk about that forever, but absolutely what a disgrace. Uh, anyway, Arthur Sinodinos, who's sporting a, a rather unusual beard these days, is now the uh, uh, ambassador to America. And he's now telling us, is he telling us the truth here? Do you think he's spelled the cat, as it were, Rita, that our borders won't open until the entire planet has been vaccinated? Well, this is a bloody terrifying message, but I think he is actually telling the truth and it doesn't seem to be a plan B, does there? And we've talked about mm. this for almost uh, 12 months on this on this program, that what's the plan B, given that we've locked ourselves away from the rest of the world? How are we going to uh, reopen those borders and have some tolerance for this virus in the community? Uh, if we're going to shut everything down after a couple of cases... We are going to be uh, a convict island nation locked away from the rest of the world. And God knows how long that will last. I mean, to talking about the, having the whole world vaccinated before we reopen our borders, does that include the developing world? Does that include... Uh, uh, you know, places where the vaccine isn't readily available, unfortunately. Uh, that's that's pretty terrifying, I think, and uh, uh, we need to have a discussion about this. Is this a price we're willing...